Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a very, very, very simple job that anybody can do this themselves. On this car it's a 2003, it's a Toyota Camry and we're going to be basically just changing the, uh, the cabin filter inside the vehicle. Uh, the reason we're changing it is because the customer complains of a musty smell inside the car. Um, so I, I'm pretty confident that this filter is going to be is is going to be clogged. She doesn't remember ever changing it, and it's got over 130,000 miles on it. So uh, we'll get in there. We're going to get this job done, and it should take us all of about five minutes. It's really a very simple job. Uh, main thing you want to do is you want to empty out everything out of the glove compartment. Um, this particular one, you actually take the glove compartment, push the side tabs in, pull it down, and the filter falls out. There is a small little, um, like a hydraulic piece that actually lowers the glove compartment down slowly. You may have to take that screw out in order to move it down further so that you can get the filter out, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I, on this one, I think this comes out fairly easy without having to remove that. So, uh, all right, if it takes you more than five minutes, you're dogging the job, so make sure you, uh, you uh, have all your tools and everything ready. So, all right, let's get up there and let's get started. Okay, so this is where your, your filter is located. And you basically just open up the, uh, the uh, glove box, make sure you have all your stuff out of it. And then you would come over on the side, right over here, and you would take out that screw right there. It's a small Phillips head screw. You'll need to remove this so that you can actually get the, um, the glove box to open up all the way. So we'll just take the screw out like this. Of course, don't lose it because you're going to need to put it back in. Now some cars will have this, some cars will have a different type of setup on here, but most of them all have some kind of a, 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 a retractable piece on it. Alright, now don't lose your screw because you're going to need to reuse this later on. So we'll put that on the side for now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come in over here on the side here and the side here, and we're going to squeeze it together and we're going to pull that box down. So let me put you down and we'll do that. Okay, so we're just going to push in on the sides. Well, now I'm doing this on just the one side here, but we need to do the same thing on the right side. And we just push it together like this and lower it down. And right up underneath here, in here, this is your cabin filter. So you take this little tab here and you pull it in, and you pull it in, and the cabin filter slides out just like this. Now, I knew it was going to be a mess. This is, as you can see, it's full of debris. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to take this filter out. You know what, let's go over on the bench and we'll continue there. Okay, you have these little tabs right here, and you need to get that filter past these little tabs. So what you're going to do is tough to do this one-handed, but you would pull it in just like this, and you pull it up like that, and you take it out just like this. Now, Filters are directional. If you look at this filter here, actually, you know what, we're not going to look at this filter because somebody put it in upside down. You see how that arrow faces up? That arrow was supposed to be facing down. The flow of air goes through this way. So somebody put that in wrong already. See this? Just take the filter. There's the arrow. Take the filter and put it in here. Like this. Oh, I can see somebody broke a tab off here already too. You push it down like this. Like I said, it's a little tough to do one-handed, but you get the idea. You just go underneath the tabs just like that, and like that, and you make sure that it's all totally in like this, and now we're going to put it back in. We just take the filter, put it in here. Just because the filter came out, don't assume that you have to put it back in the same way. Because somebody else put it in wrong, you make sure you put it in right. And it snaps in just like that. Take the glove box, pull it up, and if you pull it, it snaps past. And then you would come over onto this side over here, right there. You would take your piece here, put it on just like that, no 
now it's a little dark. I'm blocking it with my hand. The shadow of the light. Screw it in all the way. Okay. Then of course we're going to put all of our crap back in the glove compartment. And that's it. You're all done. Okay, so as you can see, the cabin filter is a very easy job that just about anybody can do. Five minutes and it's pretty much done. Now I will warn you of this. Sometimes when you take a cabin filter out that's this dirty, when you pull this out, this filter actually, all of this leaves and debris on here, sometimes it'll fall down inside the, uh, the blower motor itself. And if it goes in the blower motor, you may wind up with a little bit of like a, like a noise from the leaves hitting the wheel as it spins. Uh, but if it does, those little tiny leaves, anything that's in here, such as these pieces of, of debris like this, they'll break up and they'll be gone. So uh, if you do get a little bit of a noise from it, it's not a big deal. It'll go away and you, you'll be fine. All right, anybody has any questions or comments, you want to talk to me about anything, send me an email. I could, I'll be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.